Well, again, I'm Geneva Zoltek here with your full forecast. Now for our weather headlines today, we do have a low pressure system that's continuing to be present in our region, and it's not really going to sweep on out of here until Monday. And in this low pressure system, that's embedded with some instability, meaning that we're going to have precipitation, but we're also going to see a potential of thunderstorms. I know I heard some lightning last night. I heard lightning. I saw it. I guess I heard thunder. But after that, we are going to see that clear out starting on Tuesday. But with this low pressure system, we've got low temperatures. They're well below normal in the low 50s and upper uh, upper 40s. So for our future track again, we have scattered showers pretty much throughout the evening on Saturday. That's going to continue through until Sunday. Some of that will clear out on your Mother's Day, but we still have a potential of precipitation down there in Magic Valley early in the morning. You'll still be seeing some precipitation and actually Sunday is our chance of getting the most snow first thing in the morning because with the really cold temperatures that first time in the morning, that precipitation is going to fall as some snow after that in the afternoon. And I think that some of that's going to clear out. So I've been telling people to watch out for some rainbows because I think some of that uh, water crystals in the air could make, maybe make some of that beautiful stuff that we like to see in the skies. I know I love seeing rainbows. So after that, we will start to see some more precipitation through push through Monday, bringing some more scattered and isolated conditions of showers. After that, though, on Tuesday, we're going to see some more sunshine and drier conditions. Now, our climate outlook for the next two weeks is kind of interesting. We've got this stretch of normal kind of heading through the meridian of the United States. So the pr probability of normal conditions is present right here. But just north of us, the probability of wetter than average conditions is likely. And then below us, we're seeing drier than likely conditions. So we're really seeing that full mixture of what we can get. Here's a closer look of our neck, neck of the woods. Now just south of us in Nevada and on the southern Idaho border, we're going to see dry conditions over the next two weeks. About right on average, here we are in the central area. And then north Idaho, we're going to see some of those wetter conditions. And we actually, obviously, if you've been outside, you've noticed that there's some rain coming down. Future precipitation, by the time we hit Tuesday morning, we're going to see a little bit of significant rainfall. So about a fourth of an inch there in Boise and Twin Falls, we're seeing about an, a half an inch of rainfall. So that's really good conditions. Now in terms of temperatures, we're also seeing colder than normal temperatures over the next few weeks. And those temperatures are really in the low 40s today in our region and the upper 50s at times all over the northwest, but still relatively cool for this time of year. Now temperatures will get warmer over the next 10 days, but for now, they're still pretty cold. Tomorrow, again, it's going to be a little drier than it was today. 57 degrees tomorrow in Vail and Caldwell, 54 degrees and Boise, 52 degrees. So it's definitely going to be cold tomorrow. 46 degrees in Idaho City. And up here in Long Valley, we're seeing temperatures that are pretty cool. 39 degrees in McCall. Again, when we get up there in those colder temperatures, it's going to come down in the form of snow. 44 degrees tomorrow in Fairfield, 36 degrees tomorrow in Stanley in the East Central Mountains. Now in Magic Valley, we're continuing to see those cold temperatures. 46 degrees tomorrow in Twin Falls. Our extended forecast shows that we do have rain the next few days. Again, that system's going to end Monday and bring us a little bit of snow, but after that, that sunshine's really going to creep back on in and bring our temperatures up to the upper 60s and low 70s. The Idaho News 6 Tower Cam Network is sponsored by Bronco.